Hey everybody, it's Vicki Lynn. It's been a while, but today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the scratch art experiment again because she's got me to help her. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's the plan. Life hacks with Vicki Lynn and Wendy. But um, yeah, so I know scratch art's expensive. We can't all afford to do it. So using, you know, your household stuff and the stuff that, you know, people send to you because you can't afford to buy it yourself. Anyway, if you got it laying around, why not try it? Because it looks like fun. Friday, February 8th, and I'm going to continue to keep you updated as to my symptoms. That's how much hair I lose. On a daily basis. When I take a shower. So, yeah. How do I, how do I give you a comparison? Well, it's in my hand. That, that's what comes out of my head when I wash my hair. It's been a very long time since I dyed my hair, so my, my roots are no longer damaged. Yeah. I'm, I'm losing my hair. I've always lost a lot of hair. That's ridiculous. Okay. Just keeping you updated as to what all, what all is wrong with Wendy. I just watched Miss Crochet's um, thousand subscriber giveaway and congratulations Miss Crochet and Coffee on um, 1400 subs and that is absolutely fantastic. I am so thrilled for you and um, she has grown so fast. It's been absolutely amazing. I had predicted that she would pass me on tax day, which is April 15th, and she did it February, what, what's today, the 8th? Um, so, yeah, like two months sooner than I expected. So, congratulations. Um, you have worked your butt off, girl, to get where you are. You should be proud of yourself. So, kudos to you. Um, couldn't be more happy. Um, let's see here. What else is new? The house is almost completely clean, so that's that's good. Crisis averted. Oh, and Rhonda, I use my Swiffer today, and um, works great for scooping those drills out from underneath all the furniture. <laughs> Appreciate that, and all the fuzzy dog fluff from grooming Jasmine. So that was. Absolutely fantastic. Rather than getting on my belly to clean underneath all the furniture. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. Um, not going to start on the scratch art yet until after company is gone because there'll be little shrapnel everywhere and I don't want to make a mess. So I'm thinking today I'm going to put away the drills from the completed paintings. That'll be my little 
my little project for today while I'm on the phones. And um, that's pretty much it for right, right at this moment. Just wanted to give a quick congrats to Mrs. Coffee. And talk to you soon. Oh, before I forget, um, we have a new administrator, admin, in Diamond Painting Underground. I want to welcome Jennifer Roberts. Um, she is also now part of the family, and um, we are very, very happy to have her. So, um, welcome to Jennifer as uh, part of the, the staff, if you will, for Diamond Painting Underground. This came today, and they're all out in the pool, and I'm clearly not, because I don't do that. Okay, hang on. Get you right down in there, and watch how I cut. gift for you. Hi Wendy. So I sent the other paint before I saw you were disenchanted with the project. Maybe this wax will work better than the stuff with fragrance oils in it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Hashtag fingers crossed from Jackie. Okay so Jackie had actually messaged me and let me know that this was coming. Um, she sent a pack of tea lights for me to use for my scratch art experiment. Because, yeah, the scented candles probably did have something to do with it. Um, so thank you very much, Jackie. We're going to give it another try. Um, I'm going to make it work. It will work. I insist on it. So, oops, sorry, loud. Thank you very much, Jackie. Appreciate it. We're going to give it another whirl. Thanks, guys. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, February 9th, and we need our our daily ass shot. There it is. Uh-huh. Um, oh, let's see here. So, starting work in like two minutes, and I just needed to make a little info to let you know what the heck's going on today. Brian's painting. Last day. His last day of painting. He's doing a good job. You got a little on the screen there. That's okay. Jasmine made friends with a woman. Never happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she hates she hates females. Doesn't hate. She she doesn't approve of women. But um, Chad's girlfriend Karen, she became friends with her in what like three minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's good. That's progress. They all went in the chilly chilly pool last night. Because where they came from, he said it was negative 13. And you guys are going to see the manatees today? And maybe fishing? I don't know. We'll see. He's just chatty Kathy this morning. Um, let's see. Oh, I gave him shit about me having to work Saturdays. So I had to rub that in. I don't hold grudges, do I, honey? No. Not at all. Mm -mm. I'm a delight. So it's looking good up here. He just has a little bit of trimming and then the floor. And this is done. And the painting is completely done? Everywhere done? Yeah. Everywhere done. So, hmm, what's new? Let's see. I don't know, nothing new. I got nothing to say. Let's see if that works. Okay, just stay out there then. <clears throat> this clip was for the lamp for a tabletop 
in the selfie stick fits like right in that hole. Oh, table mounted. We're going to try that today for the project and just while well, my systems are coming up. Um, <clears throat> cardboard just to cover the surface. I think I'm going to try white paint over the top of the cardboard first as a base coat. Probably going to cut this into four pieces so I can do four different tries on that. Um, I've got my craft paint. I've got my multiple colors of tempera. I got to get the big bottle of tempera, my brushes. I figured I would try the makeup sponges that I have left over from my little trays experiment. Um, <clears throat> Hi. Jan gave me these. They're popsicle molds to keep the paint brushes in separate while you're painting. I've got trays for pouring paint out. We're going to go at it and I'm just going to mount you here. We're going to go at it and I'm just going to mount you here, record it, and then do a voiceover explaining what I'm doing if necessary. And that's the plan today. So, um, I gotta get <clears throat> clocked in and everything because it's 836. Okay. Just doing a white coat, <clears throat> and these are um, those jelly jars from uh, Cracker Barrel when you get pancakes, the blueberry syrup. Because, you know, stash them in your purse. Okay. I'm doing white because I'm thinking that it's going to make the colors pop more than when I paint them on cardboard. So, just a quick coat of white, let it dry. And then we'll do our colors. And I'm doing this while I'm, you know, on my quick little breaks from the phones. Today's kind of crazy busy, not digging it. <clears throat> oh, Jan said tacky, put the Loctite underneath it to hold it still. Good idea, I'm gonna do that after this coat because it's too late. I can't pick it up now without getting my fingers all dirty, painted, whatever. We're gonna let that dry, and then I'll I'll stick it down with Loctite after it's dry. And then this was Jan's idea with the um, little popsicle things to put your paintbrushes in, rather than whatever. But there we go. So I'm gonna pause, and we'll pick this up after this is dry. Loctite. Okay. It's dry. It's been an hour. Thanks, Jan. Great idea. Okay. There. Now it's not going to move around on me. Awesome. All right. Back to work.
And we're gonna let that dry, recoat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, already it's to the point where you, the kids don't even, you know, know how to carry on a conversation because they're just used to texting. And so, you know, they don't actually speak out loud anymore. <laughs> it's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, might want to come up with a different plan. Mm hmm Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Well, I completely agree. Things are so different than they would have been, you know, a hundred years ago in the teens and twenties of the nineteen. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. Yep, you gotta learn from it. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, this will be the one they audit, right? <laughs> We're going to pull this call for an audit.
All right, I just had the weirdest caller. I was on the phone with him for 53 minutes. I was done reviewing his policy after 20. He spent over half an hour telling me about everything from Al Capone to Winston Churchill to um, Roosevelt and Nixon and Hemingway and that his... It got really weird when he said that his emails are now blocked because he sends over 50 a year to the president. Oh, okay. Very weird. Now, here's the shocking part. He's 19 years old. I, I was doing everything I could to get off the phone, but that was really weird. Unfortunately, I, I, I had to do a white lie. I said, I have a meeting. I, I have to get ready for but, oh my gosh. So anyway, sometimes I remembered to turn the camera, but I basically put two coats of paint on this whole thing during that call because I was on that call for 53 minutes with the young man giving me a history of... Oh, and hey, I don't know if anybody's heard this one before. I don't know. I don't get into this stuff. But anybody heard that Jesus is buried in... Um, Japan, I think he said. I don't know. Whatever. It was kind of all over my, way over my head. Politics, not my subject. Um, you know, famous authors, not my subject. And, you know, religious conspiracy theories, not my subject. But, um, yeah, 19 years old. Okay. Uh, I need to take a little break for all by myself for some quiet time after that. I'll s yeah. Try out these for the wax. Ugh. Doesn't want to come out. I will get it out. Let's see here. Come on. Out of there. There we go. All right. Oh, well, there's one thing. Such a glare now. The sun's going down. Let's see. Um, where if I, yeah, there we go. I'll shine it off the ceiling. That helps, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now that I have the light at the right angle, I can definitely see why I didn't wax the other one very well. The kind of ripple in the cardboard, yeah. Yeah, you gotta get your light source at just the right angle so you can see if you've got full coverage.
this wax is so much easier to spread too than that scented one was. Absolutely. It's more like butter. Okay. Crisco. I don't know. Works good. All right. Yeah, I can see a total difference in the wax layer than the other stuff I used. And I didn't put a lot of thought into how I'm going to spread this without making a giant mess. So we're okay. We're okay. There's, there's got to be a better way, but I'm just racing through it again. As I said, I wouldn't do. I lie. Big ol' liar. Alright, so let's see here. Now I'm gonna get this really good and coated and I'm gonna take you down so that you can see what I'm seeing with the, the light kind of angling off of it. <laughs> oh yeah. Very slippery now. Okay. Making sure I got all the little ripples and textural divots of the cardboard coated really well. There we go. And just throw that back in there for another project there we go and I need to wash my hands big time let's see here yeah all right I don't even want to touch my phone to pause it because it's like super slippery Let me wash my hands real quick. All right, now. When I didn't have the wax spread really well, I was seeing like dull lines across it. This is like really coated. In real life, you're going to see exactly what I mean when you put the wax on. But that's like, really, really waxed up. The next step is going to be to mix the, we're going to do black, the black paint with a drop of dip, dip soap, dish soap, mix it up. All right, we're just gonna let that dry. Crackle art, okay. Probably because the hair dryer, I don't know. 
I didn't do that the first time, but we'll see. Let's put another coat on. Heated up the wax. Okay. It's fragile again. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, that's wanting to come off. I probably heated up the wax. Let's see here. Okay. Just pat it on. Pat, 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 pat. Don't rub pat. Probably because the wax is hot. Probably shouldn't have used a hair dryer, but I don't have time for this shit. Okay, just kidding. It's, no, it's 4.48. I've got 10 minutes left of work, and I had break time left, so I'm doing this before my day is over, and um, we've got company, so I won't be able to work on this tonight. I just want to get it done. There we go. Now, I'm not going to blow dry it again because... That's probably what caused it to crack. Heating up that wax, making it melt and spread and pull the paint around. So this time we're just gonna let it dry on its own. Okay, here we go. All right. Should have learned last time, right? Stop touching it when it looks okay. Leave it alone. Okay, I'm just gonna go wash this out. So we're gonna let that dry. We're not gonna time lapse watching it dry either. I don't have that kind of memory on my phone. Now I'm curious about what makes temp tempura paint tempura. Let's see if we can figure it out by reading the bottle. This is nothing. Okay, here. Opaque for good coverage, excellent for color mixtures, versatile paint for a variety of services and techniques. Keep away from wallpaper, painted walls, finished and unfinished wood, vinyl, carpeting, and other materials that cannot be laundered. Not for use as a body or face paint. I'm going to have to Google tempura. Let's see what, what, the, what does that mean? I don't know what it means. <clears throat> anyway, made in the USA. There you go. Mm. But we're going to let that dry. Okay. Um, oh, I can show you how far I got in my punching bowl. Without dipping it in the paint. Definitely halfway done now. Cranking it out. All right. Okay. I now have eight minutes, so talk to you soon. Ish. It's eight o'clock, so three hours. It's still drying. You can see how the hair dryer was, you know. Anyway, this came today from Kelly. So, I want to see what is inside of it. She told me that she was sending it a while back. And by a while, I mean not just yesterday, because I have no time reference right now. Oh, so tired. Right, she told me she made it, whatever it is. Here, I gotta turn this down more. There we go. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Oh! Look at this. Oh my goodness, is that cute? Look at that. Let me see what this says. these. 
little macaroons. Oh, are those adorable? Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. I love those. This is so cute. And they're pills. Oh, I didn't catch that at first. Look at that. My mad bag. <laughs> it's cute, cute, cute. She uses one of the macaroon containers for her DP wax. These are so cute. I love them. I like the colors too. And I love the bag. That is so cute. Thank you so much, Kelly. Oh, very cute. I love it. What's this one? <laughs> oh gosh, that is cute. Look at that little first aid kit kind of thing. That is so cute. So you make these little bags. These are adorable. Look at that. So cute. Kelly, I love it. She was worried I wasn't going to like it, but I love it. Okay, I'm assuming this is okay to read because there's nothing that says don't read. I got this cute card. Thinking of you. That is so cute. You're going through a lot right now, but it won't always be this way. In the meantime, there's a world of people right here to support you. You have support from so many of us. Keep your chin up. Love, Kelly. And look, it's like the, um, what is that? The coloring books that I have. I have those adult coloring books. But it reminds me of her drawings. Um, and then it says, Mrs. Coffee helped pick out the fabric. Um, Oh, fabric theme. These were made just for you. Made by me, just for you. So Kelly had Mrs. Coffee help her pick out the fabric. So cute. I love it. These are awesome. And then the little macaroons. These are so cute. I love them. Thank you so much, Kelly. I so appreciate it. This is awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. And I'm exhausted. I had to put on, like, clothes to leave the house and go out to dinner because our guests are leaving for their cruise. So I'll, I'll actually show you what I look like. Okay. Our house guests took us out to dinner to the Japanese hibachi place. Um, before they leave on their vacation tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm in the same frame, but so I had to put on real clothes. Couldn't wear my pajamas. Brian told me I couldn't wear my pajamas. They were very nice. They said, you can wear your pajamas, but Brian made me go get dressed. Anyway. <clears throat> um, I'm exhausted. You know, going out in public, being around a lot of people, whatever. I'm going to bed and I'll see you soon. Somebody's going to be live tonight. I'm sure it's Saturday night. I'm guessing somebody's live. All right. Bye guys. So what'd y'all think of that? We're not done, but so far it's looking pretty good. We'll see if we can con Marie her closet. We'll see. Anyway, um, hopefully she'll be back soon because the house guests are leaving tomorrow. Not that we don't love having company. We love having company. We just don't like to leave the house.